Betty. Hello. How are you? I'm just fine. How are you doing? Just fine. Just fine. But of course, I'm always thinking about things. What were you thinking about now? I was thinking about why some stories endure. What makes stories、mm. endure over time?、Mm. And 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 okay, I realize that you are, but this automatically implies classic stories that were written hundreds of years ago. But don't hang up yet. Don't touch that dial, because I'm going to come up to the present day. Okay, I promise I, I won't I, touch I'll, that dial. I'll, I'll even talk about Top Gun Maverick if you want. Okay, but um, but so, but what? Okay, like a story like Pride and Prejudice. Now、mm-hmm. that doesn't hurt too much, does it? That doesn't hurt. I Pride love and Pride and Prejudice. Everybody loves、yes. Pride and Prejudice. Yes, they do, Mr. Darcy. Yes, yes, Colin. Everybody、Bert. loves them. Yeah, yeah, yes, they do. But the answer to that question, that, that question that I just asked, what makes a story endure, is right there in the title. Very clever title. Pride and Prejudice. Yes. Pride and prejudice, because it's a story of of the hero's journey. They how how、mm. two people have to struggle to improve themselves. They have to they have to admit to their own flaws and then go and fix themselves. They have to more. They have to、mm. wrestle with moral dilemmas.、Mm-hmm. Yes, they have to face up to yes. reality yes, and adjust they do. accordingly. Yes, they not only have to face up to reality; they have to adjust accordingly. Yes, they have to put it into action.、Mm-hmm. And、um, well, for instance, we can see it. I mean, like Mr. Darcy gets his,、uh, you know, cold water, sh- cold ice shower when when Lizzie rejects him, and she says, you know, she says you weren't even a gentleman. And then Lizzie gets her cold water shower when she gets that letter of Mr. Darcy's the next day. And it, it just like it just knocks all her delusions out about how she had these ideas about Mr. Wickham, and she had all this prejudice against Mr. Darcy, probably because like Mr. Wickham was real foxy. But <laughs> but、um, but she realizes that she was just all wrong. Yeah, and, and and it was because she just wouldn't listen. I mean, there were there were people who were trying to talk、mm-hmm. her out of this, and、mm-hmm. she just she was kind of stubborn about her own. He, she was, she was, but she was also a little bit.、Um, Starry-eyed about her own, about herself. Yes, exactly,、yeah. exactly. She had too high an opinion of her own ability to judge people. Yeah, yeah. And so, what what Jane Austen does is, you know, for the second act of the story, basically, she makes them just go to their corners. Now, you sit in that room. You sit in that room, and you think about it. And and that's what they do. They have to. They have to. You know, they separate for a while, and they 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 think about it. And then, when they're thrown together again by by something like chance. That is when they have to, you know, stand on their newfound realizations and see if they can, you know, pass the test. And they do. They do.、Mm-hmm. They do. Yes, they do. And, yeah, and very... with flying colors too. Yes, yes, they pass with flying colors. On you know the like Lizzie、um, sort of taking、uh, Mr. Darcy's sister under her wing, and then and then these other like huge tests that come up when idiot Lydia. You know, elopes and and Mr. Darcy actually. Well, at least actually at this point, Mr. Darcy, what's what's really being tested here is his feelings for Elizabeth, because he tells her later, you know, look, I only, I did it for you, I only did it for you. But but he couldn't have even done it for her had he not already let go of his pride. Yes, true. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he he couldn't have even acted on his love had he not had he not already. You know, he I mean he would have dismissed even his feelings for her if he hadn't. If he hadn't really like come to terms with his、mm-hmm. pride and, and just said I I need to act you know anyway yeah so his his letting go of his pride allowed him to do this thing for Lizzie and then then and then Catherine or excuse me、uh, I guess Lizzie gets kind of a test or maybe it's I don't know maybe it was maybe it's just something fun thrown in for the reader when Lady Catherine de Bourgh tries to strong arm her into into letting go of Mister Darcy. <laughs> yeah, you know I I, know I, I, I actually don't predict. Particularly remember it that much. I don't. It's a really fun scene, really late in the book, when Lady Catherine de Bourgh actually shows up at the、uh, at the Bennets' house. Okay. And she tries to tell Lizzie that she better keep her nails off of Mister Darcy because he's engaged to her daughter. <laughs> okay. And Lizzie's just she she just. 
chills Lady Catherine right back into her mm. carriage. And, yeah, but 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 that it, it actually it's an opportunity for for Eliza to you know to to basically stand on her love and you know just 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 give no give just just no no quarter. <laughs> Because because previously she had she had kind of relished the idea of Mister Darcy being stuck with Lady Catherine's yeah, daughter. Yeah, she yeah. did. Yeah, yeah. So, well, she's anyway, kind of in so, a high so, school kind of frame of mind at that point. I think. Who is? I th- I, I said she was kind of in a high oh, school frame of yes. mind at that point. Yeah, it was kind of a petty. Yeah, kind it was of a way petty thinking. Thing. Yeah, yeah. So, so there's an answer. So there, there's an example of, of of a story that endures over over years and years and centuries and centuries because it it has this very moving and is I mean throughout that book throughout that second act after Mr. Darcy's been after Mr. Darcy has been refu- rejected by Elizabeth and Elizabeth has gotten this letter the reader is sitting there with all this anxiety and all this hope and oh my God you you two you just you just got to talk to each other you just, I know and, and then, <laughs> that's yeah. true because at, yeah. at there are certain points it seems like. I don't know how many points. It, I I just remember there were was definitely more than one point where I was thinking, what are these people going to do? How are they going to mm-hmm. get themselves out of this? Yeah. Everything's yeah. messed up. Yeah. Yeah. They belong together, but how how are we going to get these two people together? How, you know, yes. because they, yeah. so anyway, fortunately Chance throws them together, and uh, and and they li- they live happily ever after. But uh, but yeah, but but yeah, but but it's something that really draws the reader in. I mean, you are emotionally invested, definitely, in their reunion, definitely, and, and yeah, yeah. So it's you know, this is a thing that it's not. I mean, this is not some dreary thematic thing. You know, the heroes judge jod- because I mean, you really do get involved when you have two otherwise very attractive, intriguing sympathetic characters who just have these flaws that they just have to work through and 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 you know come towards each other mm. so i mean i, I it, it 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 needn't be dreary no it well especially if it's well written yes if it's well written yeah well <clears> especially executed. if yeah. Uh, yeah jane austen wrote it so yes 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 so I'm going to skip over a hundred other examples and fast forward a bazillion years to another topic you and I have talked about before, namely Disney princesses. Mm-hmm. And um, we have a story, a similar story, in Beauty and the Beast, which also sort of has the title spelled right out right there. I mean, mm-hmm. there's a beast. Mm-hmm. And there's a beauty. There is a beauty. And this is, this is kind of, we're back to our little Disney princess issue here. Um, Disney princesses are always perfect. Mm-hmm. They don't have to change. Yeah, yeah. They may be different from everyone else. I mean, like Ariel wants to be independent, but but she's the one who's right. Whereas her, yes. who's her father, Triton or Neptune, whoever Triton. Is he? Triton. Triton is all prejudiced. He says, "No humans are fish eaters, and they're you mm-hmm. must never go on land." So, so I mean, even though Ariel is different, she's right. She's perfect. That's correct. Yes, that is correct. She does not have to face up to her own failings as a no. half fish. Yeah, she does make one bad decision in swapping her voice with the. Ursula. She makes a bad decision, but but that's not the same as um, starting out ha- having a flaw. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And she probably she wouldn't have been forced to make that kind of decision if she hadn't um, if her father had been a little more open minded and tolerant. I suppose, but then we wouldn't have had the movie. So, well, yes, exactly, yeah. So, act, you know, you could almost say it's not the Little Mermaid; it's Triton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stories about Triton, and, and and then yeah. So, and, and another example. Okay, let's let's get back to Belle. She's okay. She's. I mean, the, the town thinks that she's strange and mm-hmm. weird because she's always she's so bookish. She's got her nose in a book, mm-hmm. but but she's right. I mean, mm-hmm. She's right to to reject Gaston. Mm-hmm. Right. Even though the other the, the three bimbets are crazy. Mm-hmm. Over, Ooh, what a guy! Yeah. He's so dreamy. Yeah. Yeah, it, and they, they, yeah, they all think she's crazy. Her, even her father, I think, thinks she's crazy. Come on, come on, it's Gaston, and she, no, no, no. no, yeah. no. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's the thing about Disney princesses. I think they're always right. It's yeah, like, they she's start a beauty. out right. She's a beauty. She's a beauty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But he's the beast, and and in the in that story, the beast has to change. She does. And, and you know, it's 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 right there 
in that that beautiful oh i just i just do love that love song that um the the, the teapot sings it, it's spelled out right there somebody bends yes uh-huh. Find, finding you can change learning you were wrong mm-hmm. those are the words in that mm-hmm. song B- bittersweet and strange finding you can change learning you were wrong mm-hmm. And and, and there, there's some sort of implication that maybe beauty, I don't know, is part of that learning she was. But I, I, I can't blame her for ever having been afraid of the beast to begin with because all he does is growl and snarl and stomp around and he and locks people up on general principles and, you know. Yes. She wasn't wrong. Really. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yes, definitely the beast does have does have the larger character arc there yes he does and uh, but you know it's kind of funny because disney muddled it a little bit his his original problem i mean the reason he got cursed to be a beast was that he was selfish and cruel mm-hmm. yes like it, it showed the the widow and the orphan begging alms in the dead of winter and he slams the door mm. on them and but by the time he's in the beast and he makes he takes bell pri- or he's in the castle and he takes bell prisoner that's not the issue anymore. No one ever goes to the castle. The, the issue is that he ha- as, as the candlestick and the teapot and the little clock tell him, you must control your temper. Yes. That, that's, that's the issue now. Mm-hmm. You, you can't be growling and, and snorting and, and stomping around the house the way you do. Yeah. Uh, well. No, Disney models it. They, this is, I think this is the problem when, when a, a story is written by committee. <sighs> So and and some of the people on the committee are not writers. Yeah, some of the people on the committee are. Well, <laughs> they have business <laughs> degrees. They have they yes. have business degrees. Yes, yes, um, yes. But uh, but he still has to change. I mean, he does. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He has to change. He has to change. Yes, definitely. But but the change he has to make is. Um, it's different from the one that started out. I, I, that's why I say I, I just think Disney muddled it a bit. Uh, different from you're, you're saying that it's different from the original story. No, I mean I think that like I mean Disney should have kept his like like what is his flaw? What needs to change? And first it was that he was selfish. That was why he was turned into a beast. And then it's because he can't control. Now it's he can't control his temper. Uh, you know, whatever. I, you know, so it, it just should have been the same flaw all along. I should know this by heart, but I'm trying to remember exactly in that movie what it was that caused him to be turned into the beast, that caused him to be. No, I remember, like in the, in the it showed in these uh, stained glass. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, that was in the beginning. Yeah, that yeah, was all. Uh, yeah, he was he was vain and he was selfish, and then this prince or this whatever fairy yeah 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 prince thing yeah turned him into a beast put a curse on him and said something like <laughs> right right have only yeah right right right, right. So. so that was it and then after that i mean being generous and being selfless was not even an issue because no one came to the castle they were right. to give him i see what to you it. oh okay i see what you mean yeah yeah once and, he and was sequestered point, in the castle yeah. then he had a whole other set of personal yeah. problems and, and to do with <laughs> Yeah, and, 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 and actually, at that point, that, like, having a, a hot temper, that's not really a deep character flaw. That, that's just a personality thing. Well, it is a personality thing, but it, it's, it's extremely destructive. It is, it is, it is. But it's, yeah, it's not as bad as being fundamentally selfish and cruel, though. I suppose. Well, I suppose. It, it's you, not you, as bad as turning uh, an orphan and, her, and, and a <laughs> widow out in the snow. <clears throat> All right. Okay, I guess I can, I can, I guess I can kind of agree with that. 85%. Well, I'm, okay, I'm saying that a team of Disney writers that does not include all writers is not as strong as Jane Austen. 100% agree. Yeah, but, but, you know, but they came close. And it, it is a story where the, it just very nicely spells out that hero's journey. Yeah. I mean, it's just... <sighs> Gosh. Bittersweet and strange, finding you can change, learning somebody bends. Yeah. You know, first they were uh, trying to be friends, then somebody bends. Yeah, yeah, good yeah. Good old Angela Lansbury. Oh, it's just so sweet. It's so sweet. It's perfect. Yeah, yeah. 
So that's what we, um, we might be missing that kind of thing in a lot of stories nowadays. But, but that's, that is, a, and I'll just, I'll just go back, like a few other little stories like that. Um, oh God, the African queen. Oh yeah. You know, the, the African queen was literally the vehicle of the journey of the hero's yes, journey. Yes, I mean, it like, was. Yeah. Come to yeah. think of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they, they had to get this boat from point A to point yeah. B and build the torpedoes and, and torment to tor the potatoes, the, to the, tor <laughs> the torpedoes and ram the Germans. But, um, uh, but you know, like, like she needed to like kind of, you know, loosen her corset strings mm -hmm. a little. Or she was going to stay, what he call, he calls her a psalm singing skinny old maid. I mean, she was going to stay that way. She was going to get worse. Yeah. And he, and he, if he stayed the way he was, he was gonna, just going to become a horrid old bachelor. Mm -hmm. I mean, he needed to kind of soften mm -hmm. up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and then, and then I, I don't know, another one. Um, oh, the Sneetches. <gasps> the Sneetches. That, that Dr. Seuss book? So, of course, you know, that's on the band list now. Is the Sneetches on the band yes. list? Yes. It's been what? banned. Uh, I didn't know that one was oh, on the band yes, list. It's on the band list. I'm oh not God. exactly sure why. I didn't have the 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 stamina to actually go into it, but I think it has something to do with the R word. R A C I S. But I mean, what 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 what? R A C E S are even in. I mean, like the the Sneetches, That is a story about how how just because of how you look. I mean, your looks don't determine. What I mean, how yeah. you're born, your immutable. Yes, immutable, star, immutable characteristics. Star characteristics yes. do not yes. do not determine your innate worth. Yeah. and it, and the you know the irony in that story was even the even the the non star the the starless Sneetches also had bought into it. Yes. Yes, they did. Yeah, they yes, bought into this notion of superiority of star bellied Nietzsche. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, you know what? Your guess is as good as mine as to why exactly it got banned, but it got banned, and I do have a copy of it, so I'm going to keep it. Yeah, you keep that. Yeah, the Gallagher's pool got banned. Well, anyway. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Sneetches. Yeah, that, that's another. Yeah, Sneetches. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And and you know another story in the Sneetches was the, the spooky pale green yes, pants. Yes, the pale green pants with nobody inside them. Yeah, but that was another story where the person just had to realize, wait a minute, yes. you know, I, I was wrong. I mean, yes. just, be, just because they're pale green and they scare me a little bit doesn't mean they're evil and yes. they're going to attack me. And it turned out that the pale green pants with nobody inside them just wanted to have a friend. They, uh, yeah, and they were just as scared of yes. me as I was scared of them. Yes. Yeah. They just wanted a friend, yeah. So, I mean, and that's another, you know, what I, you know, I just had to stop and, and, and realize that I was wrong. And, and, and now mm -hmm. I've changed, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, I patted them and I said it was okay. Yeah. And, and now, you know, whenever we see each other, we say hi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's such a good story. It is, it is, it is. So just to be totally, totally, uh, right up to date with people like, Critical Drinker and Nerd Rotic and Just Some Guy and, and, uh, all those groovy people that I can't, I, I, I'm going to talk about them sometime. We'll talk about Top Gun. Yes, yes, yes. Maverick had to, he had to kind of learn to commit to love and commit to himself. I, I, he had this thing where he was, he kept on stomping on this girl's heart and he had to knock that off. And I, I think also maybe he had to, uh, I don't know restore his faith in himself or something. I mean, he had like consigned himself to being some lonely guy who just tests, may vaguely tests or tinkers with these jets. And So this is where you're going to have to instruct me because I'm the only person left in the entire country that has not yeah. seen either one of those movies. Neither? Neither. I've, I've seen pieces of the original. You are a Top Gun virgin? Yes. I am. Oh my god! Oh my I god! Am. Well, you really should watch them. Oh yeah, it's on my yeah. it's on my list, but I okay. don't know how high that that is. No, well, go go and see Top Gun Maverick in a theater while you can. I'll probably do that. Hubby wants to do that, so I think that's probably on the list of things that we'll do. Betty Boop is married. 
Betty Boop is married. Yes, Betty it's Boop a little has known, a, like a flesh and a flesh and blood husband. Little known fact. Yes, Ooh, that must be interesting being a cartoon married to a <laughs> an actual human. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we had a, I, I had to resolve a technical issue, but, okay, um, regarding batteries. But uh, but anyway, no. There's another um, there's another thing I, I want to talk about now. You also never were a Harry Potterite, were you? No, I read the first book and I saw the first movie uh-huh. and I was perfectly satisfied with that. I didn't feel like I needed to go on. Oh, like you didn't, you weren't even curious? No, were, no, were, not in the least. Like really were, not in the least. Were, were you actually left in some way dis- unsatisfied or uh, you felt like, I don't, I, don't I just felt like it was a little bit light. I didn't uh-huh. think it was, uh, yeah, I, I, I just didn't feel that there was a whole lot of depth there. Now, I understand that in, you know, subsequent novels that it, it, it got a lot deeper and wider and all that, but, uh, well, but it got I, darker. I, it got darker is what I hear. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I, I, I just was not interested enough to continue on. Okay. Well, I'm not a Potterite either. I got dragged to one movie, um, which was I don't, like number three or four in the series, Pris- oh. Prisoner of Azkaban. Huh, okay. I had no idea what was going on in that movie. Mm. I was just sitting there through the whole, cause I, and I had not watched any of the previous ones, and I hadn't read any of the books. All mm. I knew was Harry Potter is a wizard, and his little friends are wizards, and they go to... I, I mean, I, that was all I knew. And okay. that movie was, <coughs> that movie does not stand alone at all. Hmm. I can tell you, I was just utterly bewildered. Hmm. Okay. Um, and there were a lot of things about that movie that I objected to, but um, but I, but I'll tell you, I, I um, on the basis of my experience with that movie and having to just, I, I watched a few snippets here and there, and I finally actually sat down and started the book, and I I gave up. I, I maybe a third of the way, through, two thirds of the way through. So I, I I gave up when they were on the train. That was where I quit. Are you talking about the first book? Yeah, the first book. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and I, I started looking at, you know, is there, is there anyone else who didn't really like this book? And I started Googling for some negative reviews. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. And I, I do see, and listen, again, I am not jealous of J.K. Rowling. Fine, I make her billion dollars. It's I, great, great, great. I just, I don't resent her success at all. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, I did see one recurring complaint in in the in the uh, negative reviews of her, and these were these mm-hmm. were these were reviews by people who have some standing. I mean, like Ursula Le Guin, A.S. Oh. Um, Harold Bloom, and some huh. some guy who was on the Whitbread committee. I, I can't remember who he was, but uh, but um, these people consistently said there is no hero's journey in these books. Oh. Harry Potter is a Disney princess. He's, I totally agree. He's perfect. Yes. Yes. All he uh, has, maybe that's why I wasn't particularly interested in it. I, I, I just felt like a thing happened yeah. and then another thing happened and Uh-oh. then another thing happened and then another thing happened. There wasn't any growth really. okay it was just a series of incidents okay that is that was my complaint also and, and that is a famous one which is made over and over jk rowling's mm. writing is not that good it's episodic that that's what's called it's episodic. exactly yeah episodic. yeah 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 and yeah. and, and, and the, the way i describe um i mean the trouble with episodic fiction is that the the, the narrative structure is something like and then and then and then mm-hmm. and then whereas um uh, a proper narrative should be so then, so then, so. Mm-hmm. Then. I mean, like, like, like one d- d- one event grows from the, the the previous one, and that causes the next one. That causes the next one. But in an episodic one, in an episodic story, it's just one event happens and it's all squared away, and then another event happens and it's all squared away, and then another event happens and it's all squared away, and they have no connection to each other, and there's no overarching. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. That's exactly uh-huh. what it was. That's why I never returned. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Episodic, and um, but but also Harry. Yeah, Harry Potter is a Disney princess, and all he has to do. I mean, like he he's got his um. 
his broom and his mat, his, he, like he's got the best wand ever. And, and he, like, he, no, he's got these glass slippers and he's got fairy princesses. <laughs> it's what he's got. He, he and ne- he talks to his mice. Yes. Yes, he talks to his <laughs> mice. Yes. And he never has to make a difficult decision. He never has any kind of moral mm. confrontation. He never has to like discover his principles or mm. and, and act on them. He, he never has to do any of that. Hmm, yeah. And I read this one, yeah. yeah. And I read this one review that said actually the only character in the entire series who ever does that is this guy named Snape. Oh, yeah, Snape, I remember him. Yeah, I saw him in The Prisoner of Azkaban and I had no idea what I was supposed to think of him. He's just like this guy kind of walking around the hallways looking evil and ominous and so is he bad? Is he good? And if he's yeah. bad, why is he here? And if, if he's, yeah. so if he's not bad and if he's perfectly okay, why does he look like that? And why is he acting like what? There's something going on. You're telling me, you're telling me one thing, but it'd be actually something else. But anyway, um, but no, no, no. H- Harry Potter is, is just, he's just this Disney princess who's perfect from beginning to end. And, and, and that's all there is to it. That's why I was so bored with it, I think. Yeah. Yes. 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 There was no growth. Yeah. No, nothing. Yeah. If you were eight was, years. Yeah. Uh-huh. If yeah. You, go ahead. Yeah. If you were eight years old, you might have been, you might have been entertained if you were eight years old. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> you might have been. I, I was trying to, I kept on trying to read this like my eight year old self and I was thinking, okay, this could be cool, a giant coming to my house and uh, you know, you know, it's just it's uh, it's like it's fast food writing is. What unfortunately, it is. It's that's just, yeah, that is yeah, what it, it is. It, there's no, <laughs> no, they're, they're they're empty calories. Yeah, they they're, are. They are. Yeah, they're empty intellectual calories. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and another reason I'm I'm bringing up Harry Potter in this discussion is that we are going to return. I want to come back sometime to the to whole discussion of magic. Okay. Okay. But for now, I think, I don't know, do you have any, any further remarks on heroes' journeys or, or, or moral wrestling or grapplings that you've ever, you know, in literature, movies or anything? Well, I think that the hero's journey, you know, it's not something that I think, I, I, I'm just a, I would say, a casual reader. Mm-hmm. So I don't look for things like the yes. hero's journey. Yes. I don't look for themes mm-hmm. and, yeah, yeah. and uh, mm-hmm. um, yeah mm-hmm. uh, that kind of stuff, like, but if I read a book, of course the classics are all full of this stuff. But if I read a book and I am engrossed in it, you know, and I'll read it ten times, mm-hmm. <clears throat> I don't analyze it. But mm-hmm. I know that deep down there's something, some real, mm-hmm. real truth in there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, something that's that's yes. just a a diamond, a polished diamond of mm-hmm, truth, mm-hmm. and. Yeah. And that's what, yeah, 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 and that, that, of course, that's intellectual, um, sustenance. Sustenance, yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 It makes uh-huh. life <sighs> richer. Just much, more. yes, exactly, richer. Yes. yes. It makes it mm-hmm. fuller. Yes. And it, and it, it, it helps bring, um, other, uh, you know, a, a certain perspective to other situations that you may find yourself in. And it, mm-hmm. it just, it's a, mm-hmm. I don't know, it's just a way of, you can always, for instance, you can always uh, uh, reflect back on what Elizabeth or Mr. Darcy would be doing. Not, oh. that, not that I do that kind of thing, but but it's a, it's a, I mean, you could use that story as a, as a guide, it's a whole freaking industry. I mean, you go to okay, there's, there's this, there's. I mean, actually, on YouTube, there are tons and tons and tons of people indulging in these, you know, delicious speculations about Elizabeth and Darcy. Like Octavia Fox, she's a very popular one. But there are tons of them who just talk about Elizabeth and Darcy all day long. Mm-hmm. And then, and then they have also. I mean, that story has launched a thousand fanfics. I mean, there is just tons mm-hmm. of fanfics out there. And of course, like mm-hmm. there was that movie. Oh wait, Clueless was about Emma, but but but, but anyway, but, but no, I mean, I mean, people, people think about Elizabeth and Darcy all the time. They love to think about them, you know, the when they were separated and after they were married, and just they just they. Just... Well, they're the perfect couple because mm-hmm. <laughs> there's everything there. It's got 
I mean, it's not sex, drugs, and rock and roll, mm-hmm. but it's it's sex and money and romance mm-hmm. and there, this intellectual richness that we've been talking about. The, you know, there is a little bit of drugs and rock and roll in Lydia. Oh, yeah. Lydia that's and true. Wickham, they, they, yes. they, those are drugs yes. and rock and roll. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. So, I, I mean, it just appeals on so many levels. Yes, and you not being an English major cannot articulate these things necessarily, but they they work. They work on yes. you. Yes, 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 yes. I don't, and I don't even try to articulate them. I don't even try to. There's no need. I'm, I'm perfectly happy being entranced and mm-hmm. enchanted mm-hmm, mm-hmm, with mm-hmm. that story. I'm perfectly happy yes. just being enchanted with it and knowing that there is depth and and richness and, and, well, and saturation well, and, and also joy. Yes. I mean, the, the story is and it, growth. It's, yes. No, but, but, but they're, they're, I mean, like you're so satisfied in the, yes, end. yes, yes. And it's, it's fun. I mean, cause you, you, you're, you're just so, I don't know. You, I mean, you're, you're in this state of, Oh my, you're, you're in this state of despair what, during the yes. time they're separated. Yes. And then, then the light just shines in the end. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Well, listen, Betty, I'm just going to cut. I'm just going to, we'll, we, we, unless you have anything else to add, we can wrap this up because I just wanted to talk about heroes journeys and, and you know, how, how they really, how they, they are an important part of an, of an enduring story. They're a very important part of an enduring story. And when mm-hmm. they're missing, the story doesn't endure. Yeah, you know, it's, it's going to be kind of interesting to see if Harry Potter endures. Yeah. If it'll be around. I mean, I, it, it'll live on sheer momentum, you know, as it goes down from generation to generation for some time. But yeah, it, it'll be interesting to see if it really endures as anything more than a um, just... I, I don't know. I, like like I said, it'll go on sheer momentum for a while, but but yeah, it will. It will. It definitely will. Yeah, but um, because there are there are grown ups now who yes, have kids, yes, and they yeah, will, yeah, yeah, carry mm-hmm. it on. I want to share this special thing with you, but it, they they would be better off if they would leave Pride and Prejudice lying around the house. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, thank you, Betty, very much. And um, so we'll be talking about uh, about other things, I hope, soon. Okay. All right. It'll be fun. Yes, it will be fun. Well, have a nice time with your, with your hubby t- in your 2D and 3D world. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, bye. Bye.